tried in the year 2014, like the standouts from all I've tried, from all my makeup, what are the true winners? And let's start right away with the Ulta foundation and the Ulta color correcting foundation primer stick. I made a review and I put them also in my December favorites. It's awesome. I mean, it's affordable and has great coverage. And I use this one as a concealer, not as a foundation, how it's supposed to be used. But this quickly made it into my favorites of the whole year. And the other foundation I really, really love is the Ageless Derma Pressed Powder Foundation. This is so cool, this stuff. It goes so quick. Like, I find it's a hassle to work in foundations, but this one, I take it with a brush. It is so quick and the coverage is amazing. I have it on right now and I feel I get like porcelain skin, doll-like, super even skin. This is awesome and it smells nice. It smells like tea. I really love it. The only thing I don't like about it is the packaging. It's this rubber, you know, and it's always messy. It's always dirty, even though I try to keep it clean. So the packaging really needs some work, but the product is magic. Love it. So these are my favorite foundations of the year 2014. And by the way, all my favorites are cruelty free. Then the concealer. As a concealer, like I said, I use the foundation stick from Ulta as a concealer and I also love the Advanced Mineral Perfecting Concealer. And it comes here in, uh, with this dough. And what's so amazing about this is, this does not crease, like ever. I like to use it under my eyes look hours later there won't be a crease it's amazing this is a bit shiny and very moisturizing but I don't care if it's under my eyes looking rather bright and glowy instead of dried out and cakey so under the eyes especially for us mature ladies this is a perfect concealer I haven't found another concealer that is as creaseless, crease-proof as this one. Then my favorite eye primer is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is lasting me now forever. I've got this in this Beauty Blogger Darling set and it keeps working. It's lasting and lasting and lasting and I really like that it comes in a tube. It's just super hygienic. And these Dove applicators, it's not the most hygienic thing. So this has been working awesome for me. And my favorite mascara is the, also by Too Faced. Too Faced is one of my favorite brands. The Better Than Sex mascara. And I really like that it is a rather dry formula. So it doesn't smudge that badly on me. And the hourglass shape of the wand just gives me volume. This is a beautiful mascara. But I also like really the fiber mascara from Unique. I've tried from Tarte the fiber mascara. It was a big no-no. I can link that video below. The Unique one I reviewed as well and I was so excited when I got it and I still am. It did not dry out or anything. I have it also on. It just gives this oomph. And you can decide how far you want to go. Today I just put one layer on. The girls uh, on social media apply I don't know how many coats until they re receive really crazy results. I wouldn't go that far. And what I don't like about Unique is the pushiness of the girls because I get so many times girls want to review, want to review and I said I did already, thank you. I mean it's nice but it's a really pushy thing behind all that, but anyway, the product itself, love it. My favorite lipsticks are the NYX Round Lipsticks. They are fabulous. 
so affordable four dollar or under lots of times on sale at Ulta and I mean they are so moisturizing highly pigmented for that price it can't get better and my my favorite color at the moment is minimalism awesome awesome mauve very subtle color just perfection so these are a big big winner nyx you are doing fabulous with your lipsticks also for lip gloss the butter glasses by nyx best i mean i've tried buxom i've tried hourglass they are just as good as these and you don't have to spend that much money for a gloss it's just a gloss then my favorite eye palette of this year is the chocolate bar still uses so much it is a highly loved palette by me and i love all these tones here and yes, I got the second one now too. And I'm gonna have soon my review coming up. But smells like chocolate, the most gorgeous natural colors. Highly recommend the chocolate bar, the first one. And also Wet n Wild, the Walking on Eggshells, which is actually these three colors are a dupe for the Too Faced. I have a little graphic for that on Pinterest. And these are beautiful. They're so highly pigmented. The color payoff is gorgeous. I love this one. And the, my favorite powder of the year is the Hourglass Ambient Palette. And I use usually this lighter shade and this darker shade and not so much the middle shade i don't know why and it's always hard to describe i get a lot of times girls asking me do i need this and i always say no you don't need this but if you have it you are gonna love it it's just really pricey and the effect is just tiny and like your own husband might not even notice but you yourself will notice it just gives this glow and like a soft focus light i think that's the words they use also just to describe the product it's just gorgeous the lighter shade i use more on my t-zone and then this i top it off onto the bronzer and the blush and then still i put this on top and it's just this you know diffuse really almost like fake skin but on a, on a pretty side fake not on the oh she put on too much makeup not like that more like wow she has gorgeous glowing skin maybe maybe you can describe it as having j-lo skin <laughs> and the perfect bronzer is by Too Faced I mean what a what a gorgeous bronzer it is just without all the glitter i don't want any glitter on my face except maybe on my lids otherwise please no glitter and it's not muddy it's not dirty looking and not orange perfect perfect color and of course it smells like chocolate then for blush i'm really loving the tarte exposed anyway tarte blushes are beautiful this color i like because you can pile it on and you can not go wrong with it doesn't matter how much you pile on it will never look too much so you don't have to be very careful and not very you know professional to do a good job with this but i feel the tart blushes are really expensive i really don't feel you need to get them and the BH Cosmetics Blush Palette is doing just a fabulous job. And there is actually a color that is very, very similar to the Tarte Exposed. And these are all great. They have no fallout. Super awesome color payoff. Plus, it gives you such a variety. It's like you don't even need any other blushes. So I think I got that for around $10.00. And you cannot complain for $10. The quality is fabulous. And then my favorite brushes of the year are the ones from Real Techniques. I think they're doing a fine job and they're inexpensive. Cannot complain about them. And I really like the this one here. It's a nice, soft, fluffy 
brush but also the royal care brushes they're fabulous even though i had already a little accident with one of them this one it fell off i posted that on instagram but i glued it on with super glue i mean for the price that's okay a little accident overall they work fabulous been using them since a year and this was the only complaint with this one this fell off so yeah i really really like these brushes i think there is no need to spend 30 dollars for one brush but i also tried brushes from it cosmetics for ulta and they work just as good and this one is a nice blending brush this is a better one than the real techniques in my opinion and this is a nice detail brush great for the outer corner or to smudge the lower lash line really been loving these too Whew, these were all my favorites of the whole year and i also have a couple fails you can find them on my blog and i also have a blog post about the best skincare of 2014 because i've tried 55 different skincare brands can you believe it and also i tried a lot of skincare tools so you can see on my blog which one made it really into my favorites and also about hair and body products so there's going to be three posts on my blog where you can find the best of the best of 2014. Happy New Year you all! See you! Bye! Auf Wiedersehen!